Okay, hi guys. So these are the ingredients I'm going to be using today. This is Classic 70, which is a dark but incredibly rich chocolate. Really love that. Some sugar, some eggs, some cream, and a little bit of butter, and that's it to make an incredible chocolate pot. So let's go. So this is boiling water and we put a bowl on top. Often it should really be a Pyrex bowl, but this is what we're working with today. And we're gonna put in there the chocolate, the butter, and I'm also gonna put in the sugar because I want it to kind of dissolve. Okay, so we've got the chocolate. I'm just gonna break it up like this. Let's see if that works. It didn't really work. <laughs> Never mind. We're going to break it up into pieces and we're just going to put it into this bowl like this. And the idea here is that you can't really burn the chocolate. You know, you can't overheat it, but you have to be a bit careful with chocolate, especially with really nice chocolate like this. So the recipe calls for 150 grams. Each of these is 100 grams. So I'm just going to kind of guess. The second bar, we're just going to take about half out. Gosh, it absolutely smells incredible. That's about half. That'll do. Break it up. Don't have to be too fussy about how you do this. Just break it up like that. And then I'm going to put in some pre-measured butter. So this is about 30 grams of butter that goes in two. And a tablespoon of sugar. But I'm actually going to wait for that. Just let this melt down a little bit. So we've got a bit of cream here. We're just going to whip up. And this is gonna give the chocolate pot a little bit of airiness that's gonna keep it light. Okay, we're gonna whip it up till it's a little bit, got a few peaks. Okay, so now the chocolate's melted, the butter's incorporated, and I've let it cool down a little bit, and I'm just gonna add the yolks in. So here we go. Really nice. This is gonna turn into this beautiful sort of unctuous chocolate mixture. And then, and let it seize up. I'm going to gently fold in the whipped cream. This is going to give it some lovely air. It's going to make it really smooth as well on the palate. So you could stop here, but you can also fold in some whipped egg whites. And that will also give it a lot of air and just lovely sort of texture and smoothness. So here we go. It's all coming together. And by the way, when you're melting the chocolate, I did it on top of this um, pan because at the moment we don't have any Pyrex bowls. We're gonna get some. But if you've got Pyrex bowls, you could just as easily do it in the microwave. So you just blitz for 30 seconds, take it out, check it, blitz again for 30 seconds, take it out, check it. So it's another really easy way to do things. Just poured in the egg whites and actually I'm gonna give it a bit of a whisk now to make it incorporate a little bit better. And you can see now this is really looking amazing. This is the kind of pudding that my dad just goes nuts for. Absolutely loves chocolate. There we go. See how smooth and silky and gorgeous that is? And all you're gonna do now is pour it into lovely bowls, if you've got some. I haven't used all of the cream. I could put a little bit more in, but I think this is actually fine the way it is. Let me just try. Mm. Oh my God. Amazing. So yeah, so basically this is now pretty much ready to go. Just give this a quick wipe down. And we're going to just spoon it into our bowls. Like that. And we're just going to put it in the fridge. Probably for at least a couple of hours, but overnight if possible. Um, and it's going to set into a beautiful, thick, absolutely delicious chocolate pot. And on the top, we're gonna to put a few raspberries just to lighten it up a tiny bit. And you could also put a little bit of mint, which would be lovely, just to make it super fresh. There we go. And another option with this mousse, of course, is that you can put a bit of espresso in if you want to. We haven't today, uh, but it's definitely an option. And you can also put a, li a little bit of booze, like you could put in some rum, some brandy, whatever takes your fancy on that side. So there we go, I think they're vaguely even um, or fair. And now here's a little trick, right? So I would always just take these and put them in the fridge one by one. And then I thought about use a tray. You put them all on a tray and you just take it to the fridge like this. And in they go. Those little beauties are gonna stay there until couple of hours and then we'll give them a go okay guys so it's the next morning check out these chocolate pots 
I mean, they're gorgeous, right? So what I'm going to do is just garnish each one with a little raspberry or two, like this. Okay, and serve it like that. I mean, you could, if you're feeling super indulgent and you love cream, then put some cream on top. This would be easier with my hands, actually, than a spoon, but I'm just going to use a spoon. Um, yeah, put some cream on top. It's just absolutely delicious. And of course, if you don't have raspberries, use strawberries, use blueberries, use pomegranate areoles, use gooseberries. Any fruit will do just to give it a little bit of a lift. And then also a little bit of mint is also great on something like this. Do you want me to tuck in, Barry? <laughs> okay, take a little one. I feel like it's a bit early in the morning to be eating a chocolate pot like this. So I want to give you a close up. There we go. It's really solid and delicious. I mean, it's actually a bit more solid than I thought it was going to be, but it's really, really good. Super, super chocolatey. So I've used that 70%. If you think that's going to be too dark, then just go down a notch and use something like the 54% um, chocolate. Uh, chocolate buttons but this is a really really rich really unctuous solid chocolate pot you can also leave it out for an hour before you serve it so that it just softens a little bit but it's really yummy happy valentine's